How close were you, if at all, to returning? It seemed like you got awfully close. Was it was it as close as it seemed? Uh, 100%. I mean, I, I had a big time family at Seton Hall. I mean, I love those guys. We came in together and changed the program around. Mm -hmm. so. It would have been exciting to play that one more year, but me and my family decided that it was time to just further on my career. Was there something that tipped the scales for you or, or a conversation with execs or anything like that was like, oh, yeah, I, this is my time, I need to go? Anything uh, like that? Not exactly. I mean, I just I just felt like it was my time to go. Uh, I sat down with my teammates, and it was 100% behind me, and it, it was going to support me either way. So that was my biggest concern of how my teammates were going to take it. And, if they thought I was betraying them by leaving or anything like that, but once once I knew they were cool with it, I just took it. I just took it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. What have execs told you about where you'd be in the NBA? Do they see you as a combo guard, more of a shooting guard? Uh, I mean, they, they like me at either position. Uh, yeah. I think I think so. So you can call it a combo guard. Uh, but I mean, I, I can play anywhere. I mean, wherever they want me to play, wherever they want me to to do on the court, I think I can do it. I see you have Knicks up next, is that right? Yeah. What 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 has your schedule been like? Has it been crazy or is this one of a few workouts for uh, you so far? This is actually my second, uh, so the Knicks will be my okay. third. So, I mean, I've just been in Vegas just working out, just trying to get better as much as possible so I can show these GMs, I mean, that, that I'm, I'm, here to, I'm here to play. Are you at Impact? Yeah, Impact, yeah. I got to bring up the obvious connection and Lance. Yeah. Have you talked to him throughout this whole process? It seemed like you were good friends. He's been sending out social media posts encouraging you, even going back a couple of years. Uh, I mean, yeah, Lance has always been a big part of my, my basketball career. I mean, he's just, he's always been there. I mean, he's, he's been there. Whatever decision I make, he's with me, and he's going to support me 100%. So when you've got a guy like that that, that plays in the NBA and knows what, what it's like to, to mm -hmm. play and what you need, to play on the next level. I mean, it's always good to have him. Any similarities in your game? Same high school, same kind of... Oh, uh, I mean, we definitely got that Brooklyn attitude. Right. I mean, just, just go out and, I mean, kill or be killed. I mean, that's, that's our mentality in Coney Island, so we definitely have that. Did you do that? I know he talked about while he was here doing the stairs, uh, running up a stairway, and little training stuff with his dad like that. Did yeah. you do anything like that? I mean, we got to take we got to take where we're from by storm. I mean, we, we, we have a whole bunch of stairs in our... In our apartment building, so just mm -hmm. running them gets us in shape, and I mean, it, it gets us ready to play basketball. So we definitely did that. It's a big thing. Yep. How would you feel about today, and how did it maybe compare to your first workout? Uh, I mean, it was a real humbling experience today. I mean, I had a lot of fun with some great players. Uh, I mean, we, we competed at a high level. Uh, it's, it's probably been the same uh, from from uh, my Philly workout. So I mean, I'm just trying to come in, shoot well, and compete.